Greeting folks, I was just about to balance some blades and I thought well I know there's a couple of guys getting on with the revolver build at the moment and they're most likely coming to the blade balancing stage and various other projects going and I just thought I'd show how I balance a set of blades. Might not be correct, it's the way I do it. I'll point out something else as well. It's very critical once you've made your blades that you identify the top from the bottom because when the model's at the other end of the circuit it's the hardest to recognize what it's doing so if you turn your if if you see a disc coming up like this now this is going to look a, a big target in the distance so if you see that coming you know the model's coming towards you whereas if you see the color from the underside you know the model's going away most important we've all lost models on the other side of the field easy now with a smaller set of blades, uh, you, if you're using the uh, Hobby King head, as a lot of the guys are doing these days, that has a, a 4mm shaft in the centre. So you, all you have to do is mount a 4mm rod, something along these lines. Firm surface, there's two roller bearings and it will spin quite easily. I am using a <coughs> Dubro balancer. And this has got uh, one, two, three, four, four blades on there with bearings in there. It's very, very touchy. Now this is just, this is, you realise this is just the final stage of balancing. Prior to this you'll have had to have uh, got your blades pretty well balanced longitudinally and horizontally in the first place. Okay, uh, most important thing is that you tighten the blades up at this operation and you get them square perfectly lined up in position. I've got a workbench here with a smooth surface and I simply line this on the underside, push it along and line this up with the leg of the bench. It works very good for me. Okay, sitting in there, I'm using some just ordinary silver plastic packaging tape. These blades have been used before on a revolver. The big revolver, not the little one that's going around at the moment, the big one, which Rich made several years ago, and there's a few of us made it, I think there's a, it's most likely half a dozen getting around, great flyer. <clears throat> now, it's always best to identify your blades, one, two and three, because otherwise you're going to forget where you are. Remember, this is very, very touchy. And the other thing is, as regards to balancing, Helicopter blades are spinning around at two to three thousand revs. Auto gyro blades are turning between eight hundred and twelve hundred. So they are not as critical, but you want it right. If you see an auto gyro flying around and you see a wheel waggling, or you see a tail boom waggling around, that's telling you the blades are out of true. It puts a, a heavier load on the servos, and it doesn't fly. It doesn't just just doesn't handle as nice. Okay, so what are we telling us here? Now this is telling us number three is the heaviest blade by the look of it, and it looks like number two is the second heaviest, and number one is the light one. So I'll put number, at the top I'll put number three and one. Three is definitely heavier than one. I'll put three and two together. And three is definitely heavier than two. Okay, so as a tester, so we've got to make two and one the same weight as the number three. So, strip of tape. I never put it in place first of all, I just partly in place. Because I might have made it too big. But if, this is nearly as uh, interesting as watching paint dry. But I like watching paint dry. Okay, that hasn't uh, particularly unbalanced number two. They're pretty similar there. That's good. That's good. They are similar. So what that means is I should have to add weight to two and one equally to bring it up to weight. So I have a strip of tape here that I will <coughs> cut in half and I'll put onto there. 
and I will put it onto there. Let's see what happens. I reckon number three is still pulled down. Go, baby! Yes! Three's a winner. Poor man's roulette. There we go now. Okay, three is definitely the heaviest. Still good. Now they're pretty similar. Okay, I'm going to go with another piece. Ah, uh -uh, where you go? Don't move when I'm not looking. Of course, you want to do this with the no air conditioning running, fan running, etc., etc., because it's going to throw it. I've got a ceiling fan in here, but of course, I wouldn't run it here. So I'll put that piece up there, because that's obviously the light one at the moment. Go, baby. I'm thinking some of this should go on there. But not necessarily. Oh, that's good, isn't it? They are very similar. Now, if I come around here, I reckon number three is going to drop again, still be. Oops, I'll give you a head start. I reckon number three is still going to go around first. Heaviest. This is, this is this is this is technical work. You know? I used to get paid to do this. What am I looking for? One and two. Oh, yep. Okay. Stick it on there. On you go. Mm. Now, is this going to pull it back? Yes, we're going back. I knew that. Okay. Yeah. Three. Remember, three was the heavy one. And it's still heavier than one. Three was the heavy one. Oh, not as heavy as two. That means two should be heavier than one, I'd say. Please be right. Yeah, it is. Two is just a little heavier. So, we're ways to fix this. Take some off of where am I? Two? There we go. I have got mixed up before now, folks. <laughs> Taking it off of the wrong globe and put it on the wrong globe. Okay, <clears throat> this is the test. Number three was the heaviest one in the first place. One is a tad heavier. Three was the heaviest in the first place.
Two is it? I could put white on number number three, but that'd be pointless because that was a heavy one in the first race. <laughs> I like that. Three and two, I like that. I reckon that if I put one and two up at the top, uh, one's going to be heavier than the other one. I forget which one it is. I think number one is heavier. Yeah, one's, one's the heaviest now. Come on guys, don't make a lot of me. No editing, you know, I'm not allowed to edit. My editing suite doesn't work. I think the suite works, I don't work. One and two. Two is heavier than one. Three is just a little heavier than two. So I need to put a little bit of weight on number one, I think. On the other hand, One is heavier than three. One is heavier than two. I told you it's going to be riveting. I said, I, I, said, I think I said it was going to be riveting. I'll take that. Like that. Stop moving. You're the light one now, aren't you? That means those two are a little bit heavier. That should drop. I can honestly say, at that stage there, I don't think there's going to be any problem with the balance on these blades. I'm, I'm absolutely sure about that. Positive. Absolutely sure. Okay, folks. Cheerio. Happy landings.